Hey everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Tech Up channel. So today I'm going to share Tech Mahindra interview question and answer for automation test engineer to do eight year of experience. This is the first part. I will make for the second part also because uh, we having the many question, but a few of the question I pick in this part because the video timing will increase. Okay, so I will definitely upload the another part as well as soon as possible so let's move in the first question okay the first question is always you know tell me about yourself right so if you are a any you know if you are a fraser also if you have a more than 10 year of experience also the first question they will ask you about of your profile and that is very important okay how you guys are going to explain your profile then this is your first impression is your last impression. So what you are going to make your profile, that is very important, okay? So you have your profile in the very, uh, what I can say, you know, very, uh, in, in tell me about yourself, it should be a very crisp and clear. You should not spend, you should not vote to the interviewer. So you have to, you know, what you have to speak so you can tell your name, your current organization your relevant experience like if you worked in manual or if you work in automation or if you work in api testing so you have to you know tell them the relevant experience your skill set is very important you can highlight your skill set like i can say hey i am good in core java in core java i have a very good knowledge in up concept interface collection so like that you can highlight the your strong point so what happened the interviewer will ask you the same thing what you are going to speak right so here you have to highlight the strong point and your <clears throat> current project current project and your roles and responsibility okay so in current project you have to tell i have worked on the um you know e-commerce domain or i have worked in a healthcare domain you should not explain the domain right you have to highlight your technical work you just tell the domain name or you can also add some modules i have i worked in this model my roles and responsibility is the, like that so you should not explain your domain and all okay so this is what you have to highlight second question is what is the framework you have what the framework i think might be sentence i need to correct it so here they ask, you know, once again, guys, I think uh, it's not visible properly. So what is the what is the framework you have used in your current project, right? So we having the many types of the framework, guys. So mostly the people are using hybrid framework. So in my project, I have used hybrid framework. This is the combination of any two framework. It's called hybrid framework. In our project, in our, our framework, is the combination of data-driven framework and uh, data driven framework and modular driven framework arranging all the test cases in model wise is uh, wise so called modular driven framework getting data from excel hence it is called data driven framework guys so one more thing i want to say you only theory will not work for you so in this session i cannot teach you the framework right uh, you will get many resources for the framework even i am planning to create a one like a series for the real time project where we can explain the domain and we can also have a, some you know framework design over there so i am planning that but i'm not getting time so make sure when you are going for the interview you have a hands-on practice with the framework if you will tell only the theory then definitely they will ask the cross question okay in hybrid framework what is your contribution right what you have developed in your framework you said like i have developed something might be they can ask you can you write the uh, code for that like i have developed um excel library right so they can might be they can ask you can you write the piece of the code for the excel how to uh, fetch the data from the excel or can you write the uh, uh, code for the how to read the data from the properties file so make sure you have a very good knowledge in the framework when you are going for the experience 
that is our job only right so we have to work on the framework right so you having the very good knowledge of the framework right if you not please prepare well you will get also many resources we having available in our youtube you can refer the udemy also my course is also there in the udemy not going to tell you can go for the my course we having the many tutor on the udemy what like you are perfect like what you for perfect or like what you are looking for perfect then you can but you have a knowledge okay so you should not be stuck in the interview okay this is regarding the framework so let's move in the another question can we run multiple suite using the test uh, yeah we can use test ng dot xml file so if you have a your framework based on the test ng mostly execution we are doing from the test ng right so test ng is a very uh, you know like we having the many features in the test ng right so xml file is the heart of like the test ng i can say all the configuration we can do through the xml file only right so yes we can add multiple test in uh, testing suite and we can execute so here how to execute the multiple test cases using the xml file right so in the in xml file we can have a multiple test case and we can make a like we have a parallel execution we have a grouping execution so as per the requirement we can do the uh, execution okay so please explore your test ng part okay so another question is what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding right for this is for the java question so i explain like in this uh, ppt you could see just i have given some a snapshot for that so when anyone is asking uh, for the java concept then you have a you are able to write the code and your concept must be clear because they will ask you the cross question so let's move what is overriding so redefining super class non static method in sub class with same prototype let me explain you here so you can see just i have defined redefining super class non static method in sub class with same prototype but we having the different implementation is called method overriding so i have given the example of method overriding as well so you can see this is the example of method overriding okay so method overriding only applicable for non static method okay so method overriding only applicable for non static method okay so we can see here i can again go for the def uh, definition redefining super class non static method in sub class you can see method name or method signature is same right this is called method signature or method prototype and here you can see this is your non static method and return type also must be same but we are providing the different implementation so let me move this one here okay so i will explain better way got it right so what happen here you know first you have to like understand this is the concept of method overriding now now what you have to how the method overriding will execute you can see we having the super class type and we are holding the sub class type object right so when you will execute then sub class object sub class method will execute because method overriding will execute which type of the object you are holding if you want to explore your java you can refer my udemy course i have explained the java concept very clearly and in the depth okay so you can have a udemy course you will get the link in my description video description as well no issue as your base or you can learn from my youtube channel also no issue now now another one is method overloading so what is method overloading defining new method with existing method name but different parameter or order is called method overloading you can see this is the example of method overloading in method overloading what we are doing right so you can see method name is same okay parameter is different this parameter is different and return type is also different might be it is same or different but parameter is must be different so this is the concept of method overloading and method over writing okay so you can have a understanding not only you can have a only theory you know you know how to write the code as well okay 
So explore. If you are not confident to writing the code, please explore that because the interviewer definitely will ask you to write the code as well. Okay, so let's move in the second another. Okay, so they have asked some programming question, write a code to generate random numbers. So you can guys, you can search on the Google and you can try to solve first. If you are not able to solve, then you can take the help from the Google. Fibonacci series from 1 to 10 and verify a given number is palindrome or not. So here you will get all the answer in this description. All the code, sorry, all these things I will paste in the description as well. So no worries about that. You can just copy paste and you can make a notes and you can start to do the practice if you don't, if you're not able to write the code. Another question is what is the difference between the shop and rest? So they have just asked some uh, only few questions from the API here. So what is the SOAP? SOAP stands for a simple object access protocol and REST stand for representational state transfer. SOAP is a protocol and SOAP was designed with a specification. It, it includes a WSDL file which has the required information on what the web services does in additional to to the location of the web services. Okay, so mostly now these days the companies are using the rest. Even I did not work on the shop, shop must, uh, you know, mostly I didn't work on that. Mostly I have some uh, project for API. I worked in the last company, so I have used only rest. Okay, so rest is an architectural style in which a web services can only be treated as a restful services. If it is follow the constraint, like we have a client services, a stateless, catchable, layered system, uniform interface. I have a series of API testing. So if you don't know what is API testing and all, please follow my series. I have explained everything over there. Okay. SOAP cannot make a use of REST since SOAP is a protocol and REST is your an architectural pattern. REST can make use of SOAP as the underlying the protocol for web services because in the end, it is just an architectural pattern. Yeah, SOAP can only work with XML format as seems from SOAP masses, all the data passed in XML format. REST permits a different data format such as here, one day it will accept the XML format, okay? But REST is uh, applicable for Plain text we can also use, HTML we can also use, XML we can also use, JSON we can also use, but the most prepared format for transferring data is JSON, okay? I think that's it in this session, guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new in the channel, please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification. I'm trying too hard to collect uh, top level of the interview question i'm going to pick the question which is like i feel this question might be i have to share it, right so you could see here the question pattern was mix up they asked the coding right but you could see like in the selenium behaving it depend upon the you know interviewer right i cannot tell you that if you will go for the interview for the tech man that they will ask you the same question but yeah here you are just getting some uh idea how you know which type of the question they are going to ask you can take your uh you know interview yourself also for make this collection of all that uh, you know question answer if you are not satisfied with my answer you can create your own answer you, you will get many content on the youtube or google so make the proper way prepare well and take your again you can just keep your interview question in front of you and you can try to, uh, you know, present yourself. The coding part, you can do the practice. Just you can see, like, are you able to write the code yourself? If you are able to write the code yourself, are you able to explain that code? So these are all the tips, you know, I can say, like, it will be helpful to crack the interview. Okay, thank you so much. In the next video, bye-bye.